I would say that there is a mental health crisis in North America and really across the world. It's been exacerbated by the pandemic. Um, but the pandemic's really just shown a light on a problem that's been increasing in scope over decades. The conditions that have really increased in prevalence are depression, anxiety, addiction, and suicidal thoughts and behaviors. So novel therapeutics are important advances in the treatment of psychiatric illnesses such as depression, anxiety, and bipolar disorder. While we try to use uh, less invasive treatments such as psychotherapy and medication management and healthy behaviors such as encouraging exercise to treat these conditions, some people need some more intensive treatments and also treatments that may have a more rapid onset of action. So some interventions that we can provide here at Banner University Medical Center such as repetitive transcranial magnetic stimulation, electroconvulsive therapy, and esketamine all use novel mechanism approaches to get people well. I think some of the unique things about Banner University Medical Center Department of Psychiatry is our patient focus. We get people in relatively quickly. We are an academic uh, department of psychiatry, so we attend to advances in psychiatric medicine and interventions and we try to apply that in our care of patients. We're able to provide both uh, inpatient psychiatric care for patients who are more ill and require a higher level of care, but the majority of our interventions are provided as outpatient care. So electroconvulsive therapy can provide it, be provided as outpatient, as is esketamine and transcranial magnetic stimulation. Working in psychiatric medicine is really gratifying for me. And the reason for that is because we can get people well. And I, I like to take care of people who have difficult to treat psychiatric disorders, who have tried a number of interventions and they're still struggling. And it's so meaningful for me when I get somebody into care, we find them the right treatment and we, we really can turn their life around by helping them get to remission and a better quality of life. I think that if patients have tried and not responded to at least two antidepressants of adequate dose and duration, and they are still suffering with symptoms of depression, they may be good candidates and should call us for a consultation so that we can help them better figure out their treatment options.